Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to some more computer, computer building or PC building simulator 2. Uh, I, I'm having a, a, a lot of fun with this game. I, I really am. Uh, kind of sitting there today, thinking about it. Uh, there was a uh, comment in the last, the last YouTube video uh, asking about uh, some sort of hard mode uh, that uh, Mr. Chappie wanted to know if, uh, I hope I said that right, uh, if you could turn off the uh, the yellow highlights for like different items. Uh, I looked in the, the uh, options here. There's nothing there that I want to at least quality, resolution, you know, all this stuff, the normal stuff you'd see here. Uh, there's nothing here. Keyboard layout, sensitivity. Uh, you change the key bindings. Um, and then this is just kind of who worked on it. Um, so unfortunately there is no, he, he, uh, he was asking about our, I assume, uh, they were asking about a hard mode. There is no hard mode. They also wanted the tablet to kind of disappear. Tablet doesn't, I can't make it go away. Um, the, uh, this stuff down here, all that stuff is, is just kind of there. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do to change that. Now, to kind of catch everybody up, uh, I did stream this this morning on Twitch. Uh, that video, uh, I have a 24-hour exclusivity before I can upload that to YouTube. So that will be uploaded tomorrow, uh, and I have it off to my editor. Uh, so hopefully, uh, once we start getting edits out, uh, we'll, we'll be able to get an answer for that. Uh, with all that being said, what is this? Okay, this is, I, I bought this for something. I think I'm waiting on parts for these. I think I've ordered parts. Uh, or maybe I haven't. Did I hit it today? I don't have a bunch of parts. Oh, we got a new name. We had a Plum Yeti Computer Repairs in quotation marks. Uh, so I did get the shop open. Uh, we have the shop. We have a few uh, computers in here. I may have to turn that off. Uh, that is uh, that is going to be all right. Well, we're turning that back off because that's bothering me. Yep, it's bothering you guys too. Uh, let's see. Did that change it? Okay, I'll just turn it back off. All right. Evidently, DLSS is having issues. Uh, so we uh, I built these on stream this morning. Uh, I've got this thing set to just ridiculous amounts of money. Uh, the, uh, I, I was trying to, to raise them a little bit. Uh, if we look at them, like this one is... So actually, tell me. I don't want to pick it up. I think I got these kind of over over a little bit, um, just to see if we can get a little bit out of them. Uh, let me go back here. Uh, okay, yeah. So those are just computers I bought. Uh, that's all says I have everything that I have for it. I'm very confused as to uh, so that's uh, okay so I was looking at that one I need to, I think I'm gonna have to replace the motherboard in this one uh, because if not I'm basically this is a very strong machine um uh, so uh, it's you know 64 gigs of RAM. It's got two uh, R9 290s in it. It's you know a, a, a silent loop. You know it, it's got a lot of stuff in it. Uh, but like all I can put in it is a Celeron. I don't want to put a Celeron in it. Uh, this is the same thing with a Pentium. I have to look at the 490i and see if I can change. I oh, know that one's what's broken. 
I wish the other thing is it would tell me, oh, okay, so it's uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM. So I think this one I may be able to. I may be able to just replace the RAM with this one. So I'm trying to get uh, trying to make sure that as I as I'm playing, uh, because this is like every time I all I have to do is like spray paint a little bit, and it's an extra fifty bucks. So the not spray paint seems kind of silly to me. I don't even have to spray paint the whole thing. Uh, I, all I have to do is just like, I think I just have to just spray paint it. We'll put a sticker on it. And then it's been customized, you know what I'm saying? Pop you down here. Uh, so I have um, so I did change some of this so that I have uh, I've upgraded so that the wires automatically plug in and we automatically grab uh, the screws automatically screw on and off. see if I can put RAM memory uh, a subprocessor in this one some Pentium yeah we're not going to put fast RAM As long as it's not broken. Oh yeah, see, it's got a GTX 980 in it. Is that broken? I really need to get. Uh, yeah, so that's broken. So that's not good. Um, 16. I want to put 16 gigs in there. Uh, two eight gigs, I guess. Oh, I'll put the other fire one in there. All right, so those are both in there now. Put our I'm gonna see if I can just put this back in if it will let me. It does. That goes in there like that. Can I even put another case fan in here? Like, it really needs one. Okay, so I can't put one in the roof. Or off to the side. Take this off. Install. Install that. Get cable bridge going. Let's get that. Install it. Let's put some stuff back in here. Uh, like I, I don't know. I just 
it's hard for me to, to do that. <laughs> like, not put enough fans in a computer. Like, even in a video game, I just, I can't do it. Uh, <laughs> I really wish I could. It's a computer thing. Uh, remove components. Let's put some stuff back. Let's go through that back. Oh, no. Uh, let's put, let's put the side panel back up first. All right, uh, and then let's install our tools. So the other thing I've learned too is that uh, we'll throw that on. We'll click over here. We'll hit P. We're gonna hold down our F2 button. Uh, we probably can't overclock. Yeah, we can't overclock that. But uh, go in here, turn your X and P on. So because even though you're only going from 2666 to 3000 megahertz. Uh, it's still XMP, so it still counts as overclocking. Uh, and then on this MSI board, uh, if you're trying to figure out how to get out of here, like I'm clicking on this, it's like apply changes, right? You need to click over here. So over here, there's not a button over here, or at least I can't see one, but that allows you to click on it to get out. It took me a few minutes this morning to get a hold of that one. Oh, I don't have my music on. Let me turn my music on. Uh, there's, there's, there's some EDM for you. Good old pretzel rocks. I love pretzel. Pretzel's amazing. No, come on. Install programs. Let's install 3D Mark. Install lighting. And let's install this. I don't think with the XMP profiles, I don't believe that they fail in the in here. I haven't seen any XMP profiles fail yet, uh, but I still turn this on and let it run. It takes 30 seconds for it to do it. Uh, so we'll get in here. We'll fix the lights in a minute. What's this thing doing? I think this is the one that needs a over a 2,000 times times five. Yeah. Uh, what's broken? Is the power supply one broken? I wish it would tell me also like what was broken. I do wish that we could you could click on it and it would you know, at least tell you that. It's like I this was from a save game from earlier, so I don't honestly remember. I was broken. PC status, like that's a PC that's great. Uh, so basically the only way I can figure out what's broken is I have to look at uh Oh, the 980, the video card's busted. So I have to look at the prices of the, the stuff and figure out what's busted. So I, I don't know if I have a video card laying around. Graphics cards, broken, 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 broken. Everything's broken. All right, so this is all good here. Uh, I'm gonna go into lighting. Uh, I just select everything and I just change it to something else. So now, now the whole thing is the LED is different. 
So now I've altered the LEDs, so now I get points for that. Then we'll let this thing run. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I think that's what I was doing. I think I'm going to pull the video card out of here. Oh, no, wait. Maybe I... Did I order a video card for this one? I should have ordered a video card for this one. Because it was a, like an R9 490, if I remember right. Sorry, I was trying to pick up the pieces from earlier. Uh, unfortunately, I had to kind of leave uh, for work, so I kind of cut the uh, stream short. Uh, I need to see an apartment. So basically, it was a I think it was like this guy got here, like MSI. I can do an MSI 1050 Ti maybe. What? Stall it. Yeah, because it was originally, I think they wanted this guy here. That guy is 155. And how much is the 1050? 165. Okay. I think this right here, maybe the first one. It's up that. I know. Um, so now we'll just turn this off. Then I'll go over here. I'm just going to tease this one be like, hey, look, I found you a video card. If I could cheese it, put it for I can't. So I'm just going to restart it because I want to go check the XMP profile and see if I can overclock it at all. <sighs> Turn the XMP on. Back to settings, apply changes, start. Yes, that's fine. Thank you for playing. So the trick with this is, is just trying to figure out how to do the system. I'm sure there's a better way to cheese the system. Uh, I'm sure I could probably get away with murder. I really try. Uh, usually there's some way that you can, you can do things. The best thing I found is basically taking the parts from the other computers or computers that you're replacing and then basically putting them in here. Uh, and that seems to do well a lot of times.
Yeah, it's running. It's uh, you're doing well. And technically, I could have pulled the video card out of this one, maybe. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna take this guy out and we're gonna sell it so uh when you and then when you go replace it too you'll see that pc's name is zero right now uh and then the five star uh bongo rating uh so I'll eventually work on that one but the pc's name so i need to name the pc right so all you gotta do is name it uh something save and then that's an extra 50 bucks so just by doing by painting it or throwing a little bit of paint on it putting new cables in it which by going open it and working on it like you put new cables in it um overclocking it customizing the leds that's you know that being an extra 250 dollars just from that but the, the trick is is also um uh, is i can go in here and edit this thing and i can pick this up to like 1400 so that's like an extra 200 bucks and I have an 83% chance to sell it. So we'll see, uh, see how all that works out. So I think now uh, I can't really do anything with this one. Uh, all right, so time spy is running. That guy's running on a video card that's going to be in tomorrow. Do I have other emails? I think I'm okay for emails. I think I would just wait for stuff to be done. Yeah, time's right. Uh, so this wants me to replace the motherboard and a PSU. And I did get the bungle open, uh, which is like uh, things, but like this guy here. So I have a PC used to play Baby Tycoon, pretty great strict computers, but doesn't. Uh, apparently, PC is much more should be able to play properly. You can uh, upgrade mine so that I can do that right. But she wants to play Baby Tycoon and Manic Mayhem. Um, so, actually, crap. Uh, I, I just sold that video card. Um, we'll have to make sure that it will actually run that that for them uh, because basically what happens is if they they don't always tell you exactly what they want uh, so we have to kind of read into it sometimes uh, this guy here many things very bright right occupied and watching live camera feeds right okay indoors how many power supply and motherboard most likely have been damaged will probably be replacing I'm hopeful that it can be repaired putting the lesser spotted Googler. Uh, all right, so basically we need to replace the motherboard and the power supply unit. So I'll accept that, uh, and then we'll go here to piece this deck. We're gonna go for the motherboard, get a motherboard ordered. Uh, replace that. Then we'll go back here to piece the stats, and then uh, the power supply, we'll order one of those also. Check out for that, buy that now. All right, so those are both parts are coming on their way. And then this guy here, uh, that's the one that I need to do the motherboard and the processor, but I may What's the video card? It's got two R nine two nineties. Ah, three. Uh. Video card, video card, graphics card. Where is the R9290? Uh, 
Alright, so that is plugged in now. Now I want to install tools. Risk. We'll do the same thing for them too. Uh, RAM overclock. Um, okay, so their RAM overclock starts on, so that's good. Oh no, I, that's right, because I turned the RAM overclock on because I was trying to see if I could get time spy, if it would increase it a little bit, and it did, but it was only like two points. Um, so I need to add a new programs. I want to add, uh, will it run? So I'm going to let that run for a second. Then I got to go get the name of this game that they want it running again. Uh, email. They want it to run Baby Tycoon. McQuay made him. I don't know what that word is. Okay. All right. So that thing's still running. What are you doing? You're at 1350. You're, you're garbage. So it, it's got a decent amount of RAM. How much RAM do you have? You have 32 gigs of RAM in it. But the thing is, is I can't, I can't throw this one out here to sell right now because I think I only have, I think I only have four places to sell computers. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can't make it go faster. <laughs> oh, time spy. It's been a long time since I've done that. Granted, my computer, well, my computer is seven years old now. Uh, if you guys want to see my computer, uh, catch me on a, uh, one of the VODs um, from Twitch. Uh, it's sitting on my, on my screen. Uh, I have a thermal take uh, X9 uh, Snow Edition case. Uh, it's an i7-5960X. Uh, let's see. Uh, is it baby? That was the name of that game. Uh, Baboon type. Not even in there. Not helpful. Uh, but you're at they're at a four thousand now, so I'm just gonna go ahead, like I'm just gonna just send it home with that because that video card cost me nothing, so I get a pocket to mine from it. Even though I don't know if it. Like, because that's a R9 290. R92. How much is an R9 290? Well, R9 290 is 275. Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait for the other one to come in. Uh, so. Okay. And then this one here, because this is uh it's got a cell on in it. I'm really tempted to rip the whole thing out. Uh the problem is is in order for me to, to replace it, I have to replace the entire motherboard, which is is garbage. Uh I don't know if I want to do it or not. Because I can make this a very powerful or a cell, like just a couple of little things, and it would be very a very good machine. Uh so alright, I think I'm gonna go to the next thing, see what happens. Uh end day. 
See if we sold anything. Alright, so let's go here. Close this out. Let's go to top sales. Uh, so we didn't sell the big one, I think. Yeah, so we didn't sell the, the expensive one. But that's fine. It's it's just I'm trying to see if it's going to... So, yeah, now you see I'm at 160%. So I've got an extra 50% or so, like, making a lot more money on those. Uh, I think, oh, fuck it. Oh, that reminds me. I want to go to here. I want to go to... Go to my shop. Power ups. Auto standoff tool. Uh, I want the auto standoff tool because replacing motherboards sucks. Without the auto standoff. I will just I will just eat that for now. This guy. That's the one I just, I just, that's right. All right, I'm gonna get my parts. Oh, good, I've got two, <laughs> two 80s. Oh, good. Oh, let's install. I may have bought an extra R92. Oh, <laughs> I got two thumbs up. I get it. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, what are you going to do? All right. Run this. Thanks. Nope, I'm done with you. All right. So uh, this is where I literally just rip everything out here. So hopefully it will undo, yeah, because if not, all that crap gets bad. Uh, Yeah, the, having the screws automatically plug themselves in, oh, it's, it's so nice. It makes it so much easier. Uh, I think it, uh, I think it cleaned off the, the, uh, 
thermal case when I, when I uh, pulled the CPU out. It just automatically cleans the thermal paste off for you. There's time saving hacks for you right there, friends. Uh, you just pull the processor out, it just cleans the thermal paste right off for you. It's great. Uh, it's just, we, are, we are already over time. Uh, let me see if I can put all this stuff back in here real quick. that now the cables now yeah it's the cables are a little bit wonky because it just allows you to kind of do it wherever you want and honestly if i pulled the entire motherboard out and tried to put it back in there there would be some configurations that would happen like it's it's not gonna it's not gonna be as easy. This thing might like you to think it. All right, so all that stuff is good. You're fine. The case is okay. Want to make sure it boots to the. I'm going to make sure Make sure it's not blue screen or something. So, I do like the how it, it does that where the things are oh, wrong door. I'll eventually find the right door one of these days to be able to do it on a regular basis. I, I don't recommend Probably not. I'm probably going to mess it up in a while. Make sure. Dull okay. side panel. Okay, pick that up. Out in the hallway with that too. Dang it, wrong door again. I, it's just gonna, that's just gonna be, that's just gonna be a thing. All right, cool. Uh, so let's go do these real quick. Uh, so we should have this one. So we'll collect that money for that guy. Satisfaction, five stars. Yay. Click that guy. But satisfaction, five stars. Delete. All right, so easy enough. So that's where we are here. So I'm gonna leave you guys here. Uh, we'll start the next day with uh, more stuff, uh, and then we will kind of go from there. I do appreciate you guys coming to hang out. You guys are awesome as always. There's some buttons. Another video should pop up on the screen. There's some buttons down at the bottom. Push something. Leave a comment for me. Let me know what y'all are thinking. You guys be safe and have a good night.